Hey everyone, continuing the conversation on the boot camp week by week experience. Uh, today I want to get into the next week uh, after meeting your company commanders that first week. So we talked about forming week, we talked about the first weekend, now we're going to talk about the first week. So this first week is kind of an extension of that weekend where you are still learning what the hell you're doing you're still making a whole lot of mistakes and getting yelled at a lot but you also are starting to form an identity you're starting to learn who your shipmates are uh, who your cc's are they're they're actually starting to have an an identity to them uh, a sort of human aspect and you'll kind of understand what i mean when you're there but it does feel very robotic and uh surreal during the beginning of training so you'll start to very slowly in that first week start recognizing the humanity of the people that you're you're working with um, really that first week is largely learning how to march facing movements they start getting into the more of the minutia of that stuff in in that in the forming week those first three days before you meet your company commanders you will do marching with with your forming company which isn't necessarily your actual company, uh, but they're not going to really tell you what you're doing, how to do it. You're just going to, you're going to get lined up and they're going to yell at you because you're not going to know where to go, how to line up. And then they're just going to start marching you and they're going to tell you right face, left face, and you're not going to know what the hell you're doing. Um, and that's just part of that whole, if you remember before I talked about how you're, it's set up for you to fail. That's kind of an example of that. So in that first week post meeting your company commanders, they'll actually sit you down and show you facing movements, show you how to do an about face, show you how to do a column left or how to do cl at close intervals, dress right or dress left or whatever. They'll go through all that stuff and you'll find that You'll, you'll recognize that you, you do still get yelled at a lot and you do still mess up a lot, but you also are, you're being invested in at this point. You're, you're, you're past that first indoctrination weekend where they're trying to weed out the obvious people that aren't going to make it. And so now they have a certain sense of expectation that they're going to get a return on their investment by training you. You're going to be an effective petty officer, uh, someday after all this is over so you'll find that you're you're learning a lot and it, it's still a fog because you're you're kind of developing more of a routine but you're going through the the windfall of people screwing up and getting fired what i mean what i mean by that is that you'll get jobs in basic i talked about that before but you'll also get fired and you'll I don't remember how many we went through like eight or 10 squad leaders. And by the time it was all over, uh, people would get fired and they would hire somebody else to take that job. So there's a lot of turnover <laughs> and there's a lot of routine that you get taught. And there's a lot of routine that you figure out along the way. You'll kind of go through a natural progression of learning something, doing it wrong, failing, relearning it, doing it wrong, relearning it, doing it wrong, but then finding other ways to do it. And you're not going to be explicitly told, hey, try it this way. But you'll, you'll kind of figure that out naturally, I think, when it comes along. So basically, that's that first week. A lot of facing movements, a lot of marching, uh, learning the schedule, going to chow. You'll start doing classrooms and the big thing is just getting through that fog that I talked about with the first opening weekend where there's just a lot of unpredictability. And that's a thing that I, I think I repeat that a lot in a lot of these videos because it's true. Um, it's why it's very difficult to prepare for specific things. Like I mentioned before, preparing with your general orders, preparing, knowing your ranks and, and other required knowledge. It's hard to prepare for that you can you can memorize that stuff till you're blue in the face it's not really going to help you succeed in basic the way that you need to 
you know, you're not going to show up at boot camp and impress the CCs because you know a whole bunch of rank, rates and ranks. Um, it's just, it's just not going to work that way. You know, another thing with the routine is that they, they change. Every week, you're going to have a different breakfast, lunch, and dinner schedule. So they don't want you to get too comfortable with, with any one thing. Uh, so just kind of keep pushing through. The, the first week is an extension of that orientation weekend. So it is very difficult, but it does get easier. Each week gets easier and more specific, more intentional. So you'll start learning things that actually matter and like seamanship or, you know, firefighting or things like that, uh, that actually will have tangible uh, impacts on your career down the road. So just keep pushing through. Don't second guess yourself. Don't question your sanity because you will. <laughs> I know I did. Um, but just, just fight through that. Take the punches as they come. And, uh, and don't let other recruits get to you either because you'll get you'll get people who clearly shouldn't be there and a lot of times the ccs will keep them there longer than they should because they want to see how the other recruits handle it you know deal with that with that stress um and so you just have to keep pushing through and that's another good point to remember is that your success in basic training is contingent on the success of your whole company, not just you. So, like I said, you can learn and memorize stuff till you're blue in the face, but if you know everything that you need to know, but your shipmate doesn't know everything that he or she needs to know, it doesn't really do you any good because the the individual is, is only as good as the whole, or the collective is only as good as the, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so I hope that that helps. If there are any questions that come about, I will definitely make videos about them. This sort of week by week series is just kind of touching on the general points. And um, I'll be honest, it's been 18 years since I went through basic. I'm old. <laughs> so I know that things have changed a little bit. Thanks. There have already been some people that have corrected me on a couple of the details. So I appreciate that. Um, so, you know, thank you for <laughs> for, for being patient with me. I'm more about talking about the themes and the sort of the overall approach, not necessarily like here's exactly what you're going to experience every single day because it's going to be a different experience for everybody. But there's a lot of commonalities with that whole endeavor. So anyway, I hope that uh, that helps. Please let me know if you have any questions and uh, I will be back here again soon to answer more. Take care.